How's it going, everyone? So one of the most frequent things I see talked about on Saab Facebook groups and forums is audio and kind of, uh, I guess, radio upgrades for this car. Now, if you're a Saab 93 enthusiast like myself, just ignore the fact that there's a no passenger seat in. I'll, you'll see why that's not there in a different video. But if you're a Saab enthusiast like myself, you'll know that the 03 to 06 cars had an interior that looks like this that used a fiber optic system that basically doesn't really allow you to put an aftermarket radio in without a ton of work. So thankfully there is a solution to at least remedy that in some way. Now, while you can have an aux input like this car has, ignore all the other trash in there, I didn't know that was in there. But the aux does not provide the same kind of loudness and the sound quality that something like Bluetooth does. So this I got from Saab Plus, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it. And if you already have the aux programmed into your car, it shouldn't take you more than about 15 minutes. So this is a Bluetooth 4.0. There will be instructions linked below as well that I will be following along with. But this is just a very nice, simple... Uh, you know, I like that it doesn't have, I have to run six different wires here and do all this custom work. It's just nice, basically, literally plug and play. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm excited to finally have Bluetooth on this car. Um, it doesn't have the ability to make calls, if you're wondering, just because it doesn't have a microphone with it. But for the price, I still think it's pretty good. If you're interested in this specific product, make sure to check out SaabPlus.com. I'll link it down below. But with that being said, Let's get into this install. First step is we're going, I'm following these, this PDF verbatim step for step here, by the way. First step is going to be to remove the uh, ashtray here. So if you look inside here on the ashtray, there's a spot where you can stick the flathead in and then kind of pry out like this. Camera might not want to focus on it too well, but once you have that pried out, you can just kind of pull that whole thing out and I'm going to close it up here. Of course, your car being an automatic and dumb like mine, you might not have room. So I'm just going to actually put this in neutral Guys. and turn off the radio. You're nice rolling sounds. backwards. <gasps> so one thing that I want to try before we do this is with the aux, like I said, it's going to be louder and better quality. So I want to compare decibels before and after of the same song. I've been told that this song, my outro song, sounds pretty good in the sound system. So I'm going to turn it the whole way up and we're going to play it just for a few seconds. So I just pulled the ashtray the whole way out. You don't necessarily have to, but it's just kind of easy. I just have it sitting there. But next we're going to pry the ACC unit out. So you're just going to stick a pr plastic pry tool back in there on each side. There you go. Pull that out. Now we have two huge clips back here we're going to unplug. Just kind of pull out on it. So there's two tabs on each side that you kind of have to press in. It's a little bit difficult to kind of get it. I struggled for it with a minute, or I struggled with it for a minute, English but now I can pull that out. So we're going to disconnect these three connectors and remove the unit. So there's one up here. Pull back on that one and all of that comes out. Pretty, pretty slick, slick design. Pretty slick. And then the third one, you just missed the third one, but the third one's right down there. That one comes out pretty simple. Now we can remove. Whoa. Yeah, that's a big connector right there. They are <laughs> watching. They're watching. <laughs> they know. They know. They know. Now it's time to unpack our Bluetooth. Wow. Yes, it's very nifty, nifty little packaging. So now with this removed, we're actually not gonna do anything with this. We're gonna just, you know, put it up there, let it hang out. We're going to come back down to our ashtray. We're going to disconnect. Okay. Just going to disconnect this connector on the left. There's no tab on it. You can pretty much just pull it straight off. It's almost just like a, it's more of a plug than a connector. You have this red connector, the one with the little ring on it. 
you have that one right here so you can slip it over this kind of slides over a nice and snug fit. So make sure you're putting it on the upper connector. There's, it's more of a left and right than top and bottom, but you can see if the camera will focus. And then after we do that, we can go ahead and slide this connector back on. If it'll go on, yep, it's good. So if you look at the ashtray, there's little slits where it can slide into on each side. So you can just slide that back in. So next, you have this big connector with the red light on it. If you use the other, this little um, connector right here, and we're gonna stick it into this, right where the black wire goes right here, and just kind of feed it into that. Like that, slides in pretty easily. You might have to move it around a little bit to make some room, but there you go, pretty simple. So next, we're going to be, this is the aux kit that I put in. If you are, again, if you already have aux, then you're gonna have to disconnect this. And if you don't have aux enabled, then you're gonna have to use a tech two to program it in. But I just disconnected the aux. Now we're going to plug the Bluetooth. It's into this, there's two spaces right here. So I'm gonna go into the one on the, I guess left or right, depends on how you're looking at it. But the one that's not directly above where you put the blue thing into. There you go. So in the PDF, he gives you a good instructions just to kind of, or he gives you a good picture just to kind of show exactly how it should look. So this connector here should be empty, and that one right there is right where your Bluetooth module should be plugged into. So now we're ready to reinstall it all. So let's take our Scalding Hot EHU as the, okay. And I guess I'll try not to scratch up my center trim. We will plug, we will not plug that in, that is the aux. We'll plug this one in up here. Our other connector, this one also has a light on it, coincidentally. That one's going to plug in into the bottom down here. And then I guess if you want, you could probably put this Bluetooth adapter somewhere so it's not just hanging loose. I'm pulling out these uh, these two connectors that go to the ACC unit just so that way they don't get like stuck back in there and then I have to stick my hand way back in there and try to get it out. I tried to put the EHU unit back in and then these clips for the ACC were kind of giving me a little bit of trouble trying to get the leverage. So I'm actually going to connect those first pretty simple. One's bigger than the other, so you can't possibly mess it up. And I'll just kind of hold this up, or she'll hold that up, while I slide the EHU back in here. Doing it a little bit blindly. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, it snapped in. Okay. Put that back in. Our AC Sit. has now come on. So now the car is all back together. We can now put it in park. Take the key out. Let's start it up. Now if you just go to your Bluetooth on your phone, for some reason this is an Android and not an iPhone. This isn't even my phone. iPhone Master Race mm -hmm. Sleuth comes up. So now we're going to try and play this song again, the same section. So the volume sounds to be about the same, at least according to this janky generic decibel meter test. But I do think that the quality seems to be better. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, so she also thinks the quality is better. So we actually have two more of these units that we're going to be installing. One on the project Saab when that's running, which will hopefully be soon. And then another, another on the Arrow, which is currently not here. But that's a pretty simple 10 minute process. Didn't take long at all, especially if you uh, 
know what you're doing. There you have it. That is how you do a quick and easy Bluetooth install on a 2003 to 2006 93. Doesn't matter if you have ICM1, ICM2, or ICM3. It's all pretty much the same process. Very simple to do, and I'm happy with the result. It's much easier than having to reach in the center console, pull my uh, my aux cord out, plug it in, then have to put my phone, you know, somewhere close by. It's, it's it's much easier, you know. When I'm done, I can just keep my phone in my pocket, just get out of the car. It's it's just a much simpler process to have Bluetooth as opposed to uh, aux. So, with that being said, again, if you're interested in this product, make sure to check out the top link in the description and go to sobplus.com to buy your own. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll see y'all next time.